Starting off first with a 1940 90% silver Walking Liberty half dollar coin. This coin is in excellent condition, graded at a mint state 65. The coin grading skill goes up to 70. 70 is the best grade you can get. This is at a 65 by Annex. Uh, this coin was struck onto a defective blank planchet, and we can see that there uh, around the rim of the coin there uh, as we zoom in here on the coin. Now this coin ended up selling at auction for around $85, so not super valuable, but this next coin here sold for over $8,000. Now why would a 1940 half dollar coin sell for over $8,000? Well, because of its condition. This coin is a very, very nice coin. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 68. There's probably not many of these out there that exist at a grade of a 68. Uh, 70 is perfect, this is at a 68. Very, very rare to have it in this condition. Now, if you have a 1940 half dollar, it's all worn down, scratched up, you know. It's really only worth its, uh, you know, silver and numismatic value, you know, I don't know, around $15, uh, sometimes $20. Uh, all just depends on where you sell it and what you can get for it at the time in which you sell it. But this coin, $8,000 all because of that grade. Now here is a good one to compare it to. This is a 1940 as well, uh, no mint mark. It's graded at an AU58 instead of a 68, so 10 grades lower. And this coin only sold for around $30. So big difference in values there based on the condition of the coin. Now here is a very rare coin. It is a 1940 half dollar that is the proof coin. So it's going to have that um, shiny mirror like finish, be very detailed. This coin is graded at a proof 68 by NGC. And this coin sold for over $4,500. Over a $4,500 coin there. Now here is a 1940 S mint mark. So if we go to the reverse of the coin and we zoom in there, that's where you will see the S mint mark for these coins. Now we were looking at the no mint mark prior to this coin here. So this is the example of the San Francisco mint S mint mark. Now it's graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. So again, that is where all the value is at for this coin is in the grade, the condition itself. This coin sold for a whopping $35,000. $35 grand. Can you believe that? All right, here is a 1940S mint mark. Same exact date, same exact mint mark. However, it's got a much lower grade. It's graded at an AU58 instead of a 67. This coin only sold for around $35. So big difference there again in values based on the grades. Now here is a coin that was weakly struck. It's the 1940S as well, and it's graded by Annex at a mint state 62. This coin only sold for around $60 at auction. So keep in mind, the grade population is extremely important on any kind of coin, uh, including these Walking Liberty half dollar coins. If you have one in extremely uh, high grade, it's going to sell for some good money. Uh, you know, if you have a mint error on one of these coins, it's obviously going to have uh, some value as well. But uh, in regular circulated condition, you know, you're looking at the, you know, $15 to $40 range, uh, depending on the condition of the coin. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.